you have a problem with eating on camera, what do you do when we have to do like a food tasting thing? Moron. That's specifically for food. We're still eating on camera. I'm not listening to you smack your gob while we're trying smack to watch a gob. trailer. Smack my gob? Yes. Only fat people have gobs. <laughs> Back to our stupid directions unit, it's Corbin. Rick, you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. More juice. It's so juicy. Double-handed juicy. Double-handed juicy. Double-handed juice for you today. Double-handed juicy. Double-handed juicy. Double-handed juice for you today. And today. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. Uh, uh, we're reacting to a trailer that honestly I thought we had reacted to. Honestly? Honestly. <laughs> I thought we had to react to it too. Honestly, I thought we did too. Let's just do the whole thing. It's play. a Shah Rukh Khan. Uh, you know what movie of his I think we should see and review someday? What? Sway it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> you like what I did the other day? I dropped the song. I did. You did the song and then you did the should review. We watch, uh, should we watch this one? We watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Uh, but uh, anyways, yeah. This is called Zero. Have you heard of it? Yeah. I honestly thought we had reacted to this. We have not. Huh. Yeah, it sounds like we did yeah, early like, on. Yeah, like I thought, we've been hearing about an SRK Zero thing for a long, long time. Yup. Anyway, yeah. This is why I thought we had done it already. <laughs> but there's, okay. there's stupid babies screaming at their phones and their computers and their TVs right now. Well, because honestly, a lot of what the comments are now are people asking us to react to stuff we reacted to nine months ago. Yeah, well, that happens right now when because there's people who... <laughs> I, I'll see comments like I saw one this week. It's like, what's the relationship between you two? Yeah. So the, the, this... And people, I'm getting messages on Instagram all the time of, I just got your chip. So that's going to happen. React to Gully Boy. Right. <laughs> to that's my favorite one. My favorite was that comment was react to Gully Boy. It's like, yeah, you're you're definitely new to the channel. Go God bless you. Search if we've reacted to a trailer and then request. Seriously. Please. That's all you have to do. Just do the name of the trailer. And more than likely, you don't even have to put in OSR. We'll pop up just if you put the name of the trailer in. Where is it? Cool. Okay. Here we go. This is called Zero.
रिश्ता बड़ा आदमी का अब हुआ है बहुए कहानियों में सुना था कि मोहब्बत में आशिक चांद तक ले आते हैं साले को हमने ये बात सीरियसली ली Doesn't it? Have we seen a teaser of this? I, because I looked it up uh, when uh, when we saw I uh, when I was doing some research on what we should react to next, and I saw a bunch of requests for zero, uh, and I was like, and I always see requests for zero because I was like, I'm pretty sure we've reacted to it. Yeah, but the the last <clears throat> like the with the skylines and zero. Why do I feel like we've seen a teaser to this at least? Uh I don't know why that looked and felt so familiar, but I'll tell you what didn't look familiar. What didn't look familiar is this premise. Um I don't remember the girl shaking and I don't remember SRK's character being small. So I'm really kind of my brain is kind of twisted right now. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea why it looks so familiar. I'm thinking I got it mixed up with the 2.0, maybe. Maybe. Uh, cause... But why would we have done it on 2.0? No, the, the film called 2.0. Oh, ha 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 ha! Gotcha. Cause I think that has a little person in it as well. Who, who is the, uh, score? Cause that, the song, the music? At the end there was yeah. So we haven't fantastic reacted to it. So if you, I don't oh. know where this is because it looked we familiar. Must have dreamt it. It really did look familiar to me. Uh, it's but it, again, I don't remember any kind of. I would have remembered the premise. Well, I I know the premise because of I, I know people have said when he played a um, I don't know if he's playing a dwarf or a, a, some. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, little person. Um, uh, which it's funny because that can never happen. I was in, literally going to talk America, about that. That, that you get, you've gotten to the place, and I, I don't. Well, it, here's the thing. I'm I'm of two minds about it. Me too. One, actors should be able to play whatever they want. Correct. For the most part. For the most part. Not different. Well, I guess there are exceptions because I was like not different races. But then you look at Robert Downey Jr. He yeah, was, he no. was a dude disguised as a dude playing another dude. Exactly. It uh, just it depends because the the job of an actor is to portray beings, all beings of all kinds. So yeah, and and, and having to do with is Hollywood's you know very inclusive and we want to include people of that course. have got opportunities. And you know if there's an actor who is let's because I believe it was a couple of years back where. Um, Cranston played a, a disabled guy. Yes. S certain people got upset that they didn't cast a disabled actor. Right. I, and then it also happens if like a straight guy plays a gay guy. I know. And I'm, I'm of two minds. One, I'm like, oh, sure, if that guy was the right for the role, but also, th if, if that's the case, then gay people can only play gay people. Which is Do ridiculous. Do you think that's what they want? No. No, we'd never have Barney from How I Met Your Mother, which is the most womanizing character like ever, exactly. played by a gay man right and so what what are we going to take this and extrapolate it all the way out that's okay sorry i'm not going to play a man who's unfaithful to his wife because i would never be unfaithful to my wife it's like you yeah. gotta come on so like i'm of two minds because i'm i'm all about inclusivity and giving people a shot that right. haven't gotten a shot right and if they are right for the role uh but then also you know i don't know if i would be okay with somebody who's not a little person being a little person right that it depends that's i don't know how this is so you could tell us um, and I'm not opposed to it. I just don't know. It's Correct. one of those things. But it was, yeah, it was Katrina Kaff, uh, was in that. We knew her. That's the one Correct. I recognized. And then, uh, this Anushka. Was the, Anushka. Right. Which, Sharma, uh, which we uh, know from PK. Correct. That's where it's, I was looking at her face and going, I know this face. I know this actress. I like her a lot. It's because we saw PK like back in March. Mm -hmm. So it's been a long time since I've seen her in anything. Uh, at this point, basically, if SRK is in something, I want to see it. Yeah. So, but, and and her, I like her a lot. But you can tell us if it's because we know he's just like any other star. He's had flops. And correct. Stuff. So you could tell us if this is one of the ones. What, that... Kaseya, what's the synopsis here? The story revolves around 
Uh, Bao Sing, SRK, a vertically challenged man who is full of charm and wit with a pinch of arrogance. Born to a wealthy family and raised in an environment of affluence, he is challenged to broaden his horizon and find purpose in life. Yeah, it seemed like a coming-of-age story, almost, of a, of a, a guy who's kind of arrogant, mm. and then he, he, was, he didn't like to see this girl in a wheelchair... Uh, and then he, he grows to know her yeah. and realize she's a person. Right, and also <laughs> and grew himself to thinking, you know, i got to sow my wild oats. And, you know, really the things to experience in life are these things. And he goes out and he's like sleeping with multiple women and realizes, you know what? Um, this isn't what life's all about. And that, that, that's, that's the case. Uh, it's probably a beautiful story based on what we could see. I hope that's the case. Yeah. You, don't um, know. you, you know, you could tell us. Uh, and how. yeah, do you guys, how often is that the case? Like what Corbin was talking about is a big deal right now in Hollywood. It's, and it's, it's not a big deal in India. It's not? No. Okay. Because I remember when we did the, like, the, the clothes one. Yeah. And, like they, uh, and I was talking to people on Twitter. I was like, yeah, I'm nervous about this because yeah. we're white guys. This is a different culture. Right. It's like when we did the Tanuk Tanuk parody, we were not going to put turbans on our head no. in any way, shape, or form. Uh, and people said that it, it, in India, we don't care. And so they, they wouldn't said, care, for example, if a role was supposed to be portrayed, for example, if you're doing Game of Thrones, you need to have Tyrion has to be played by someone who's a little person. That's just the nature of the character. If they had had a, another actor do that and then did special effects to make him appear to be a little person... And it was an Indian show that Indian audiences wouldn't react like they would here? Probably not. And, and that's just so interesting because Lord of the Rings, Gimli. I know. He's, he was the biggest person on set. Correct. The man's over six feet tall. And so, yeah, I'm of two minds about it because my first instinct would be, no, you need to cast, you need to cast a little, I, I always forget what the proper term for them are. I think what uh, they prefer is a little person. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, or just human beings. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Making jokes. Uh, but... <laughs> But, like, my first instinct would be, no, you need to cast a little person. Just cast whatever best person there is. It's right. probably Peter Dinklage. Right. Just go cast him. Yeah. Um, but then also you have the Lord of the Rings conundrum, and it's like, uh, I don't know. Right. Because, <laughs> um, you know, it, it, actors are going to think about it differently than regular people will. Right. Exactly. Regular people often think about, no, a gay person needs to play a gay person. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, nah, that's not what acting is. Exactly. And acting, you can play whatever role it that's requires. The part, that's, 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 that's the point of being an actor is and, to be other people. And if you say certain people have to play certain things, then that's the only thing they can play. Right. And that's not acting. Correct. <laughs> Anyways, we're, uh, yeah, we're, we're on a soapbox. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> but let us know how this is. We're not, no, I'm honestly. I'm not saying that I'm upset that he's playing a little bit. Not at all. I'm just raising the We're questions. not saying that at all. We're, we're just bringing up a topic that's probably much bigger here than it is in India. I guarantee it. Yeah. So, yeah, let us know how this was. And also, let us know why this looks so familiar to me. Because I don't know. It looked really familiar. Me too, man. Like, I recognized a lot of those shots. And the ending, when it said zero with the light, and we saw the, the different... Uh, like there was, it looked like it was a combination of famous skylines because I definitely saw Manhattan in there, but I think there may have been Mumbai. I don't know. Anyway, it looks familiar. Let us know.